tomorrow President Higgins is coming as part of the state ceremonial event here in St. Endes. Very historic building in relation to the 2016 celebrations as the home of Patrick and William Pierce. He set up the school in 1908 but he moved out here two years later. It was to become one of the most innovative and interesting educational experiments of the early part of the 20th century here in Ireland. Among the things the President will be doing tomorrow is he will be talking about the importance of the Irish language but he'll also be talking about our new permanent exhibition which he'll be formally launching. This was our exhibition I suppose to celebrate the 2016 uh, centenary uh, in particular the life of Patrick uh, Pierce. The President will also be formally launching uh, our Percent for Art Commission which comprises of the words of Pierce's last poem, The Wayfarer, which have been carved into quartzite and are, are arranged around the fountain in the wall garden. I'm delighted to be here today at this Changabio uh, stream, uh, here beside Pierce's uh, museum and also in the gardens here in the park. It's a beautiful day, it's fitting and it's great to be here. And I would like to just pay tribute to the people who have put on the permanent display in the museum which is absolutely brilliant. We'll be Shermish Anan Jason Shaw and Rathvarnam. The Anobergent Egg and Reltis, Egg and Rin, Agus and OPW, Agus Shermish Anjaso Heave and Changa, which is a part of the Changa Bio, the Larnox Stratish and Shaw, or Heave. Kid Blee and the Irish Matnakoska, Agus, the Nadini Oga, the uh, area of Anan Jazz, which is the Dows, Agus, 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 uh, on uh, public in the Heron. You are very welcome here today to St Endes Park for this very special occasion. This event is part of Anchonga Vio, the Irish language strand of the Ireland 2016 Centenary Programme. I think that today we must recognise that Patrick Pierce was visionary in his defence of the language as a spoken living medium, rather than a mere object of scholarly interest. In his insistence on the role of the Gaelic people, because it is important at this point, I think, to recognise why we are here, to pay tribute to that generation of which Patrick Pierce is such an important part. Here in St Dinder's Park, we recall what Patrick Pierce and his colleagues did for the Irish language. As one of his biographers put it, that generation of cultural activists gave the Irish people the key to self-respect. And it is for us to use that key. Karamira Mahake, thank you.